Welcome in this gameplay presentation of the Hypermage. We will split this presentation in three parts. First of all, we will talk about the elementary spells. Second, the elemental combinations and their effects. And to finish, we will check in details all the complementary Hypermage spells. The first fire spell is called Deflagration. It costs 4 AP and can be casted from 1 to 4 range. The spell doesn't require any line of sight and applies the fire state to the target. The second spell is a lifesteal spell. It's called Burning Stroke. It costs 3 AP and can be casted in line from 1 to 6. The spell also applies the fire state to the target. The third spell, it costs 3 AP, can be casted from 1 to 6 range, 2 times on an enemy, and 3 times during your turn. The spell also applies the fire state to the target. The first earth spell is called Striking Meteor. For 4 AP, you can cast the spell from 2 to 7 range on one enemy. The spell obviously applies the earth state to the target. The next earth spell is called Storm. The spell costs 3 AP and is a lifesteal spell. You have to wait one turn to launch it again and the spell applies the earth state to the target. The third spell is called Telluric Wave. The spell costs 3 AP and 2 times on an enemy. From 1 to 6 range can be casted only in line, the spell also applies the earth state to the target. The first agility spell is called Astral Blade. The spell costs 4 AP, can be casted once on an enemy, from 3 to 7 range. The spell applies the agility state to the target. The next spell is a lifesteal spell, it's called Transfixing Gust. In a circle of two cells, the spell costs 3 APs and has a cooldown of one turn. Only in diagonal, from 2 to 4 range. The spell applies the air state to the target. The third spell is called Ether. The spell costs 3 APs, requires no line of sight and has a range from 1 to 4. It can be casted two times on an enemy. The spell applies the air state to the target. The first chance spell is called Icy Shards. The spell can be casted only in line. It costs 4 APs from 1 to 5 range and applies the chance state to the target. The next spell is called Glacier. This spell is a lifesteal spell and costs 3 APs. The spell hits all the enemies within 2 range from your position. The spell applies the chance state to the target. The third spell is called Stalagmite. It has only one range and costs 3 APs. Can be casted two times on an enemy. The spell applies the chain state to the target. The elemental combination Fire and Strength will make you deal 15% extra damage on the target. The elemental combination Chance plus Air will make the enemy deal minus 20% damage. The elemental combination chance plus strength will remove two MPs to the target that can be dodged. The elemental combination fire and air three a The elemental combination fire plus chance will attract the enemy from two cells. The elemental combination Strength plus air will push the target from two cells. This next spell is called Elementary Drain. It costs 2 AP and can be casted only from one range. This spell hits not in all elements, but in the element that belongs to the state of your enemy. The spell is called Stamp. It costs 2 AP and it fixes a rune for every enemy that has an elementary state. The spell is called Runic Treatment. For 3 AP, 
It heals the ally regarding the number of runes that you have on the map. The spell is called Elemental Shield. For 3 AP, it will give you 25% resistance for 2 turns. Each time an enemy attacks you, you lose 5% in the element. The spell is called Contribution. For 2 AP, depending on what state the enemy have, it will give several bonuses. If it's the fire element, you will get 10% HP in shield. For the chain state, you will get 150 power. For the air state, it will be 1 AP. And for the earth state, it will be 1 MP. The spell is called Runification. For 2 AP, this will activate all the runes on the field. If an enemy stands over a rune, you will get 50 stats in the element of the rune and deal damage to this enemy. If no enemy is standing over the rune, it will transform itself into a summon. The summon regarding of his element will allow you to do different actions when you hit it. It will push the neighboring entities from three cells. If the summon is chance, it will attract the neighboring entities from four cells. This works only in four range away. If the summon is fire, it will switch place with you. This works only in four range away. And if the summon is air, you will be teleported in a symmetrical way from that summon. This works only if you are four range away. The next spell is called Propagation. The spell can be casted from 1 to 8 range and costs only 1 AP. The spell fixes the elementary state of the target on all the enemies present in a ray of 2 cells around him. Polarity is a spell that costs 1 AP. It has a range of 1 to 3 and requires no line of sight. Polarity allows you to interact with enemies who have an elemental state on them. Push enemies with strength state. It will attract enemies with chance state. Switch position with enemies with fire state. And teleport you symmetrically with enemies in air state. The spell is the Hyper Mage class spell. It can be bought in one of the class temples in Amakna. The spell costs 3 AP. It allows you to teleport your character exactly 5 cells away in any direction. It will remove MPs from the entities that are in the way and deal damages on enemies that have an elemental state on them. This is a very important spell in the Hyper Mage gameplay. Let's talk about the Doppel spell. The spell costs 6 AP. The summon Doppel will cast the spell Stelleric Wave in line, Stalagmite when it's next to an enemy, and Burning Stroke. Thank you for watching this presentation. If you have any comments, don't hesitate to put them below. We will read them and try to answer all your questions. Don't forget to like the video, and we will see you another day.